Hi there. Let's take a look at AnyType's Data Vault experience. I've got AnyType open, and if you select the help icon, you'll see a link for the Any Experience Gallery, which is just templates. So select the Data Vault and install. And in this video, I'm going to install it into an existing space. Uh, the one I'm using is called Original. And once you select that, it will install and there's a little notification at the bottom. So let's expand this into full screen and get rid of the notification down at the bottom. Okay, looks like we've got a data vault in the favorites. And if I click on it, it is a collection of various things. And you can also see I have a collection widget here. The data vault is down there. Now I have this important, my important documents, and this is a page. And it looks like there's several links to other pages here. So this one is a passport and it's just got some fields you can fill out. Uh, this one's for a marriage certificate and it's also got issuing authority field. Let's see, this one's got medical records. Oh, this one's got more links like sub pages. So if you click on it, you go to another page and this one's just for medical insurance. And this one's for vaccination record. Most of them just have like a space where you can upload a photo and there might be like one or two relations or fields that you can fill out. Uh, that one was test results, this one's prescriptions. They're kind of like very minimal um, stuff that you could put in here. So driver's license, was on this main my important documents page as well as residence permit and let's go back okay so in your sidebar you can get rid of this one from your favorites because data vault is essentially essentially a eh, because data vault is a collection and i'm actually going to add the My Important Documents as a different widget and we're going to select tree on this one. So you can see the nested pages that are already on it but in your sidebar. So this is kind of like a folderish uh, organization. Um, so it has all those five links that are on the my important documents page and let me minimize these so we can see this a little bit better. Okay, if you select the medical records, that one is the one that had more sub pages. So in the sidebar widget, you can see that there is a drop down that has the four sub pages in here as well. So again, this is the sidebar widget, but you can only get this nested view if it is a page. Let's look at what the data vault collection looks like if I put it in the sidebar as a widget. So data vault and your choices because data vault is a collection are compact list and it's gonna have a minimum of six objects in here. Okay. And this is what it looks like if you're on the collection page. And it, so it mimics the first six items that are on this collection in the sidebar widget. And let's see what the other option was for data vault. So if you select choose a source data vault, you also have a choice of list instead of compact list. And this one has really big icons. So I guess you have a choice. If you want small icons, pick the compact list. If you want big icons, pick the regular list. Okay, let me minimize these. For me, 
I would probably use more attachments than photos. So I press, I press the plus button and I'm going to select a uh, attachments relation here. And if you select add, it will just show you the stuff that's already in any type. So mainly I just have images in here right now. So if you want to get stuff from your desktop, you'd have to select upload. And then I'm just doing an example file here, get started PDF. And you can click on it once it's in the relation grid view. And if you go to the page for blood test results, it doesn't show up here. So we have to go to the top right triangle relations and you'll see it is attached here, but to put it on the page, you have to type backslash attachments to have it show up on the page. Uh, there's another way you could do that, which is selecting the triangle for relations again and putting a star so that it shows up underneath the title. And when you click on it, you'll end up on the relations pop-up menu. And let me remove the star and close out of that. Now I'll show you the mobile view of this experience. So this is your widget menu and the widgets are the same in the mobile view and in the desktop view.